Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2021 Honda CRV EXL with all wheel drive, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. In a broad sense, the 2021 Honda CRV is the quintessential small SUV. It's spacious without being overly bulky, comfortable without feeling soft or bouncy, and endlessly usable thanks to lots of cargo space. It's also easy to drive and offers available all-wheel drive. Yet the key to the CRV's appeal is that it typically manages to do these things just a little bit better than the competition. The 2021 Honda CRV competes in one of the most fiercely contested classes around, with just about every mainstream automaker building a crossover SUV that's roughly the same size and price as the Honda. Other alternatives include the Chevy Equinox, Ford Escape, and Kia Sportage. The 2021 Honda CRV seats five and is available in four trim levels LX, EX, EXL, and Touring. Front wheel drive is standard and all wheel drive is available across the board. Note that there is also a Honda CRV hybrid. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Honda CRV. Real quick before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. Obviously, the CRV competes with other vehicles. I mentioned three of them during the intro, and I've done build and price reviews of all three. I've done a build and price review of the 2020 Ford Escape. I did a build and price review of the 2020 Kia Sportage SX Turbo All Wheel Drive. That's a very nice little SUV. And I did the 2020 Chevy Equinox All Wheel Drive in the Premier trim. So, after you watch this video, why don't you watch one or two of those videos as well? Okay, let's take a look at the exterior colors for the 2021 Honda CRV, and then let's look at so check out some other features. We're going to check out the features and everything before we actually jump over to the configurator and spec out our EXL. We'll check out the different configurations in a second, the different trim levels, but let's go through these colors. We've got the Sonic Gray, and it looks like we can do what? Oh yeah, we can do a 360 walk around, so that's 360 spin, and yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, so here's some colors. We've got the pre I'm sorry, the Sonic Gray Pearl, and it lets you know what models of uh, CRV it's available on. We got the Sonic Gray Pearl. We've got a GN Blue. We've got Crystal Black Pearl, Lunar Silver Metallic, Modern Steel Metallic, Obsidian Blue. Nothing exciting. <laughs> uh, Platinum White Pearl. And they have the Radiant Red Metallic. No exciting colors. I'm not really crazy about any of them. I'm not sure which one we'll choose when we get to the configurator. So the 2021 Honda CRV comes in four trim levels, as I was saying in the intro. You've got your base model LX. It starts at $25,350. So this is your cheapest way in to the CRV. Going up from there, you have the EX, and that's the one, well, if you're really looking at, if you're really trying to maybe find one that's the most value, probably the EX is probably your way to go. Starts at 27860 I like the EXL simply because it gives you the leather interior. If you watch my channel, you know that I prefer a leather interior. Uh, absolutely. And heads-up display and digital speedometers. At any rate, the EXL starts at 30450 So you can, if you could squeeze out a few more grand, Get the EXL. You don't have to go up to the Touring, but at least get the EXL. But at the top of the tier, you've got the Touring spec. It gives you everything. The wireless phone charger, 19-inch wheels, heated steering wheel, 33650 And then, like I said in the intro, there's also a hybrid. And the hybrid comes in three trim levels, EX, EXL, and Hybrid Touring. Let's check out the gallery. So we can check out some uh, exterior photos. And we can check out the interior photos for the 2021 Honda CRV. Wow, they have 31 uh, exterior photos. I can tell you right now, we're not going to go through 31 exterior photos. All right, let's see these real fast. I mean, once we go around these angles, I mean, it's not like the, the, the CRV is not unattractive, but no SUV to me is usually super, super attractive. So once we go around this thing, we can kind of. Once we've seen it, we've seen it all here. Uh, and yeah, they're giving us little descriptions of different things down here at the bottom of each picture. 
But we're getting ready to go through all the features, so it's kind of redundant to stop and talk about any of that stuff. So with that said, let's go take a look at the interior. Now, they only have 14 interior photos, so about a little bit less than half as many interior photos as exterior photos. So here, <clears throat> they're showing a nice shot of the exterior. You can see all the seats. Looks like the second row seat looks to be stadium seating. Looks a little bit higher. This one's the leather trim seat. Here, they're showing the, the, the gearbox, your shifter down there, your center console. Here's the uh, your infotainment, and they have the Apple CarPlay being shown. Here's a nicer shot of the front dashboard from the seating from the front area. Uh, here, yep, I can see a digital speedometer there. Push button start. Uh, yeah, they've got the little, I don't know if that's real wood veneer, but it looks pretty good. Even if it's simulated wood, it looks good on the dashboard there. Here's all your climate controls, your heated seats and stuff. You've got some rear, you got at least a one USB charger in the back. Oh, look at that. When the seats fold down, they go extremely flat. That's very nice. You're going to really be able to get some cargo space in there. Uh, so that all looks good. Here's a nice shot of the steering wheel. It's a multifunction steering wheel. you got a lot of buttons on there. It's a very busy steering wheel. And there's your instrument cluster and everything like that. Uh, I don't, I'm not crazy how they show the tachometer like that. Uh, but anyway, all the information's there, and there's a digital speedometer. So let's go through these last photos. Here's a wireless phone charger. And here's where all the audio speakers are You're for the stereo. And here's a big multifunction center console. It's got a 12-volt power outlet and all that. Okay, let's check out the technology features for the 2021 Honda CRV. They're saying here that every non-hybrid CRV has a turbocharged engine. They're all available with all-wheel drive, and there's a whole range of features. So let's start off with the uh, performance features that they want to tell us. Uh, here, they're just talking about the all-wheel drive system. And so, as you know, they can all be optioned with all-wheel drive, but front-wheel drive is standard. Here, they're talking about the 1.5-liter turbocharged engine that makes 190 horsepower. And what else is there here? Uh, they're talking about that the CRV is just tough, basically. It's been tested by the elements. There's a place called the Honda Performance Center in California in the Mojave Desert where they've gone out and tested this thing in extreme conditions. For connectivity uh, uh, technology here, we're talking about there's uh, Apple CarPlay integration. There's Android Auto integration. I never spend any time talking about those too much because they're proprietary systems. And it doesn't matter if you're talking about a Honda or a BMW or a Chevrolet. Uh, the, the systems all look the same and basically function the same in every vehicle. Uh, here you've got the USB audio interface. And so, yeah, you've got some different points. You've got a one amp. Uh, USB and a 1.5 amp USB and this is the one you'd use because they're showing a little cell phone here or a device this is the one you'd use if you want to charge a device though there's a wireless charging pad right here but that's probably optional and not standard every manufacturer has an app so does Honda Honda calls theirs Honda link uh, it can do things all they've said here really is you can do things like receive vehicle notifications and schedule service appointments uh, here they're talking about the premium audio system that has nine speakers and 330 watts of power. Here's the infotainment system for the Honda CRV for Honda. I don't know what they call their their uh, infotainment. The, the German manufacturers often have a name for their sodas, other manufacturers too. Uh, anyway, they say that you can touch, touch, pinch, swipe. All that kind of stuff. It's a seven-inch touch, uh, seven-inch display audio touchscreen. So there's that. Here they're talking about your audio options uh, and your different sources. So you can do Sirius XM, HD radio, Pandora, uh, all that kind of stuff there. For uh, other things like safety, they're talking about blind spot monitoring. That's cool and cross traffic alert and they're mentioning well really the two most important safety features really blind spot monitor uh this cross traffic alert when you're backing out of things you might somebody might be behind you here they got the multi-angle rear view camera everybody every car gets a standard camera but then the fancier camera like they're talking about here is usually an upgrade uh here they're talking about the led lights 
And I don't know if those are going to be standard across every trim level. And here they're talking about the smart entry with walk-away lock. So you can lock and unlock your doors without ever taking your key fob out of your pocket. So it's got a, you know, like a lot of new cars nowadays, it's got the, the wireless, or not the wireless, it's got the keyless entry. So that's basically what that is. Also, they have rain-sensing windshield wipers. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so we talked about the technology features. Now let's talk about the exterior and interior features of the 2021 Honda CRV. Let's get into the, the exterior styling here. So they say it's got a modern front end, it's got a fresh, bold face, sporty attitude. This is the Honda CRV. They're talking about the LED fog lights. Nice. Uh, you got a rugged and sophisticated style. Right, I think it probably looks better than the older generation, I suppose. Uh, I, like I said, I'm not crazy about SUVs, generally speaking, but it's not bad looking. Uh, they say it's got a versatile profile. What does that mean? <laughs> versatile profile? Uh, Eye-catching chrome accents, stylish rear spoiler. Yeah, it's got a roof spoiler right up there. Uh, they're, they're reaching. They're trying to figure out something to say, <laughs> right? LED tail light. So we're going to give them a break here. Uh, dual chrome exhaust finishers, right? Your little exhaust tips down here. They call them finishers because they're just, if you look right in there, depending on how good your vision is, you can actually see the exhaust, the actual real exhaust, right inside the center of the tip. So, yeah, those are just appearance pieces so the uh, so they don't show the ugly exhaust tips. Then you've got the, uh, the driver information interface. Uh, you can do things like control audio settings, do your turn-by-turn -turn directions, uh, it has a driver attention monitor that it can let you know if it thinks you're getting drowsy. Here they're talking about the leather trimmed interior, and we are all over that because we are doing the EXL. So we're all over that. Uh, there's power adjustable seating, available power adjustable seating. Uh, there's a 12-way power seat, 4-way power adjustable lumbar. Uh, meanwhile, the front passengers can enjoy a 4-way power adjustable seat. Cool. Uh, there's electronic parking brake. There's dual zone automatic climate control. And again, not all these features are standard. Remember that. Uh, and these are some other amenities like heated front seats and a heated steering wheel and wireless phone charger and USB charging ports and a 12 volt power outlet and hands free access power tailgate. That's cool. You kick your foot under there, and guess what? Pop. That'll pop open. Surely you got to have that key fob on your person in your proximity for that to work. Uh, cargo space here. So you got 60 40 split fold down rear seats, and they tell us that they've got cargo space, but they don't actually tell us the exact amount of cargo space. Um, yep, there's your 60 40 split seats there. And, yeah, there's that center console. We just saw that center console. Yeah, oh, in the gallery. There's a center console. It's got a power outlet in there. Got two big cup holders up front there. And then here they're just talking about the Honda Genuine Accessories. So if you want things like uh, upgraded wheels, here they're showing a roof rack. I can see a, a wind deflector on that on that sunroof up there. I see a bug screen uh, deflector on the root on the on the hood there so they got a few and this look like this might be some uh step up like a roof like some kind of bars down here to step on to help you get into this not that it's that tall but yeah those are some honda accessories and uh they'll show us some in the configurator so we'll check those out here they're getting ready to go into a few accessories like the black gri uh, grill the tailgate spoiler i guess i didn't have to go through it the gloss black side lower trim. These are all options. Uh, your roof rails and crossbars. Uh, parking sensors. Right, They beep if you're getting close to hitting something. All season floor mats for the winter time and wet weather. These illuminated door sills are quite nice actually. I like that. Uh, you got rear seat car covers. That's great for yeah, kids, pets, things like that. Here they're showing the cargo tray in the back. That's very nice. With a protector. And look at the seat back protectors. Also very nice. So you don't scuff up the back of your seats. Very cool and thoughtful. So Honda Sensing is your standard suite of safety technology that comes with, well, 
the 2021 Honda CRV, regardless of trim level. So, yeah, there's the collision mitigation braking system, there's road departure mitigation system, uh, and there's adaptive cruise control with low speed follow, lane keeping assist. And yeah, so that's your Honda sensing there. Okay, so we've gone through all the features, we went through the gallery, we did all that. Now, let's jump to the configurator and build our build and price our 2021 Honda CRV. Uh, EXL with leather, right? You can get here's your two trims. You can get it with uh, all wheel drive. All wheel drive is a $1,500 option. We're all over that. Now we have all wheel drive. What's next? Pick our color. So here they're showing the GN blue. We got crystal black pearl. I actually kind of think I like the black, honestly. I think I might like the black. Let's go with the black. They do have, so three of their colors are additional cost, $395. If you want the platinum white, the radiant red or the sonic gray that's going to cost you another 395 i'm not picking the black because it's a no cost option i'm picking the black because i just think it might look better uh for interior options here you got either black leather or gray leather i think you know where i'm going with that I'm going with black leather wheels what we got three wheel options now that's cool so the standard wheel is an 18 inch wheel but we can go with these 19 inch alloy wheels and they look like they're just in two different finishes. So they got black or alloy. Do I want to do the black? Let's see what the black looks like. Yeah, maybe I might want to do the black. The black looks okay. Let's blow this picture up. Yeah, that looks all right. Can we see the interior? Yeah. Oh, can we spin around the interior? Yeah, we can even spin around the interior. Now that's cool. Back seats look good. I like the design of the seats. I love the wood, even if it's not real. I do love the wood. It's a nice touch. Gives it an upscale uh, look and feel. All right, so let's go to our exterior. We picked those upgraded wheels for, what, $2,000 and change. Let's move on. And now these are just accessories. These are stuff like the, they got the Honda Sensing. That's included. The dark accent packages, illumination package. What's illumination package? It's $737. You get the blue illuminated door sills and interior trim with blue illuminated logo okay well let's go ahead and oh i didn't select that let's go ahead and add that they got a funny way they let they lay these out there's a styling package a, a utility essentials package a lot of this stuff is going to be roof racks car carriers things like that i'm not really into it i am interested in what the styling package is though oh it's just blacked out stuff black tailgate spoiler black gloss front grill uh gloss black side lower trim so that really would dress up uh this particular crv seeing that we're doing it in all black but it's 1127 dollars i'm not really into it so we're not going to get it all right so let's move on and yeah these are just different accessories so those were packages these are exterior accessories right roof racks and sunroof visors things like that uh and then you got your interior accessories right we already did the uh, the illuminated door sills, which I think is the nicest thing in there. But you got the rear panel protector, stuff like that. You know, these scuff plates here. I think all that stuff's cool, but the reality is, is that you can get this stuff from the dealer at any time. I also think the seat back protector's cool. But again, you can get it at the dealer at any time, and it's not, it doesn't have to be option now to for it to be, you know, the factory doesn't put that on. Then they've got a few electronic things like parking sensors. I think that's cool. Let's go ahead and get those parking sensors, right? Uh, I like the hands-free tailgate. It's a la carte. And we don't need the engine block heater, but you've got the option for that. So we come over here to summary. This vehicle started life at $31,950. Now here we are at $36,793. So we're just under $37,000 for this 2021 Honda CRV EXL with all-wheel drive in all black with the special 19 inch black wheels and everything not a bad looking suv at all so on that note i'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up if you found this review of the 2021 honda crv exl with all-wheel drive helpful informative or entertaining please like share and subscribe to my channel other than that i'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day and i will see you on the very next video